We'll talk about the locus of authority for a second, because it's kind of important as you're going through different stages of development. Um, and I debated on whether or not to include this slide, because maybe we should do it included with development, but this is important. We're going to talk about, I have some of these slides here just to give you a preview of something I'm going to show you in a minute. And as you develop your locus of authority, when you you start off and it's if you're stage three, your provisionist Calvinist, it is external. All the authority is somewhere outside you. You have not embodied, there's no embodied gospel inside you yet. You have the propositions, Christ in you, the hope of glory, it's he which worketh in you, both the will, you have the propositions, but it's not an experience for you yet, okay? If you're Calvinistic or or provisionist. As you grow, get past stage Past stage three and you're in stage four, you can see all the different vertical orientations that are out there. And you can perceive the differences and see that some are valid. And then once you cross over into stage five, you've now gained some capacity to start pulling from all of those towards some kind of unified, meaningful purpose. Okay. So stage four is like a trans it's like a transitionary phase where you go into an ability to perceive things a little differently, and then that coalesces into a more clear vision and an increased capacity in stage five. Which and so and in stage five is when that locus of authority has really settled in on the inside a, a lot more than it was in stage four. Stage four is where it really starts to move, though. So your moral, ex, so all of these are going to be internal versus external versus internal. Okay, external is moralistic. Internal, it's based on appropriateness. So when you hear people talk, you can. I, and just to give you a clue, I when I hear people talk. I can hear all of this in how they talk and tell that they're stage three, like this. I can tell fast, okay? Also, I can hear people talk and I can hear this in how they talk and they are telling me that they're stage five. Bam, like that. Tell quickly. So that people, when I'm talking with people on the phone or when I see comments in the chat, this I'm hearing these things even though you don't know you're saying them. And it's telling me a lot about yourself that you don't realize you're telling me. So external is moralistic. It, internal is appropriateness. Think um, World War Z. Categorical. External is categorical. Internal is charitable. I have these in different colors. Not because the colors mean anything, but just so that the eyes can tell the difference between the rows. External is more about judging. Internal locus of authority is more about helping, understanding, and having empathy. External locus of authority is more about keeping the law. Internal is more about being whatever is expedient for what, you're trying, what your current aim is. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are expedient. 1 Corinthians 6.12 External locus of authority is very exclusionary, us and them. The internal locus of authority is very inclusive. We have room for everybody. And we can help everybody. We can do something to get everybody to the next rung on the ladder of their transformation. External locus of authority is in having mode. Internal is in being mode. External locus of authority. God is some external entity and must be approached. And you hear that in the music and in the preaching and the admonitions. And the internal, you have Christ in you. He which worketh in you, both the will and to do of his good pleasure. In him we live, move, and have our being. Internal locus of authority has a, has a palpable quality of that. I know stage three people say those words and quote those verses, but it's not till like stage five that you have a palpable quality of that. And when you go seeking after God, you realize that Christ in you, is. you don't go anywhere to find God. He's right there. And I know a stage three person can say those words, but they don't actually have a, a palpable qualia of it. Um, stay in, in external locus of authority, you have black and white digital binary thinking. And you'll say things like, 
This is the authority. It either says this or it's not. And this is my fact checker book right here. They'll say things like that with the anger and sanctimoniousness. Whereas an internal locus of authority, you're capable of nuance. And you realize that it's impossible for any kind of system to pre-specify relevance because you're not that stupid anymore. Thank God. In external locus of authority, you have a belief system. I have it in having mode, and I identify with it, and I'm attached to it. And if, I, if anybody attacks my belief system in having mode, I feel personally attacked like my identity is at stake. So you have a belief system. If you have an internal locus of authority, you're following the way of Christ. If you have an external locus of authority, you have systematic theology. An internal locus of authority is more about the fear of the Lord, awe, epistemic humility, beginner's mind, first principles thinking. Okay? So as I talk about what I'm going to say next, I'm hoping that you bear all of this in mind because it's important. 